Hey everyone, Mukluk, the original Death Squire the Fourth here, and this is a guide to Kadeem the Peerless, the final boss of Wing 7. If you want the Wing 6 Kadeem guide, you're in the wrong place. Now let's get started. Before starting, decide on one person to be the tank and assign one person to connect to each of the three pylons. The most popular choices for pylons are Scourges or Deadeyes. The pylon stings, but gives you boons, so take the lifesteal traits to heal through the damage. In addition to the pylon person, assign at least one additional interrupter at each pylon to help with the break bar. Place raid markers like this. I'll explain them soon. Before the fight, the tank and the three pylon people will use their special action keys. If you wipe, you will need to do this again each pull. Don't stand on the white lines or the lightning shark will zap you. Every 5% of the boss's health and orb will drop. If you are at a pylon shooting the boss, the orbs you are in charge of will spawn to your left. If you see one drop, port out, catch it, and port back to the pylon before it resets. If you are gone from the pylon too long, it reconnects to Kadeem and makes him invulnerable. Start the fight by interrupting all the pylons and having the pylon players connect with them, then run in. He opens with a knockback, so dodge it. Tank, start at the north pylon with that person. After interrupting it, run in and grab the boss and turn him a little to the side so that his attacks that go through you don't hit the pylon player behind you. Whenever he does the magic carpet attack, move to the opposite side and just move back and forth. Never point it directly at the pylon player. After 90%, the boss will gain a new skill. He will choose a target and strike them with lightning three times. Red circle, bigger red circle, bigger ist red circle. Red circles are bad. Run them away from the raid and avoid the damage as best as you can, then return. At 80% health, everyone will be raised up and then drop a fire patch. Go to these markers and place your patches here. Then you will need to interrupt the pylons again. Boss will knock back again. Boss will sometimes get a break break bar. Interrupt it. After 75% health, ads will periodically spawn and walk towards a pylon to steal it from you. If you put the fires where I told you to, they will walk into the fires and take massive damage. All you need to do is have someone interrupt the ads break bar to stun it while it's in the fire and it will die. At 60%, the fire thing happens again. Drop the patches at these four icons for this one. Interrupt the pylons, Kadeem knockbacks again. After 60% health, the boss periodically fires a beam in a straight line towards a player three times. You can spacebar jump or dodge it. Watch when he brings his arms down to help you time it. At 40%, he will charge to the north pylon. Don't be in his path. Dodge stability or Aegis the shockwave. After he destroys it, get out of the middle before his dome respawns. Interrupt the two remaining pylons. Get back on the boss. Same mechanics continue, but he does more damage. At 30%, he will charge the southwest pylon. Don't be in his path. Dodge the your Aegis the shockwave. After he destroys it, get out of the middle before his dome respawns. Interrupt the remaining pylon and get back on the boss. At 20%, he will charge to the southeast pylon. Don't be in his path. Dodge the your Aegis the shockwave. But after the shockwave, get out of the middle until he teleports back there. Make sure the tank runs back in first. You've seen all his attacks. Get him to zero to finish the fight. There's a lot going on in this fight, but each person only needs to remember their job. What pylon are you helping with? Which marker do you go to at 80%? And which marker do you go to at 60%? CC the ads, plus know the other mechanics that everyone has to deal with. Afterwards, you can get an achievement in his hot tub. Now you know how to get banned from Twitch. You're welcome. Click these links. Especially that one, our website of guides is live.